Who's ready for some poo? Yeah, I know it's a little aggressive how to start a video. You're like, oh, but you throwing away vaginal sounds at the beginning of the video. Well, the fragrances that I got today, well, they're named Boozy. And these deodorizing fragrances or intimate colognes, as she likes to call them, is in collaboration with the Brazilian deliciousness, <sighs> Anita. And if you don't know who Anita is, just Google, shorty's got boomed. So I picked up a couple of her fragrances that were available online because I saw her on some sort of podcast. I think it was with the Barstool Kid, with the, the funny guy. And she mentioned that she has a fragrance line that's essentially for the genitalia, including the assholes. I have a perfume, intimate perfume, for the pussy, for the butt, for the butthole, for the dick, the balls. Really? Yeah, it's called Boozy. So, but why not? I decided to get the pink pussy and the black pussy. Cause Uncle Cuba doesn't discriminate. I love all pussy. There's multiple colors. That's why I'm saying I love all pussy. Cause you know, I don't, yeah. I don't know anything about these joints, but if you tell me that there's something for the genitalia, a fragrance for the genitalia, I think it's only right that I spray my nuts and asshole on camera. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can check out Anita's Boosie. Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Now, I'm going to be clear. I got these joints off of Amazon, and there's something speaking artificial about these fragrances that has me a little bit concerned. I don't know if anybody's making fakes of this pussy, so I'm concerned about the authenticity. I don't know why somebody would be cloning something that's super duper inexpensive already. I'm just, you know, full disclosure. I got it off of Amazon Caution. For external use, spray at least eight inches from the skin. Do not apply to broken or irritated skin. If you have unusual order or discharge, contact a physician. Yeah, listen, uh, we fucked up. Sounds like chlamydia. Made in Brazil, distributed out of Miami. Miami is known for discharge, irritation, and unusual odors. But I love the how to apply. Apply it to an external genital area and or underwear at a minimum of eight inches. Don't know what that is. Apply after shower or at any time of the day. This is legit a bowl sprayer or a pussy sprayer. For all my women that watch my channel, and that's seven of you, I love all of you. Don't be turned off by all the pussy that I'm showing. Y'all are still my favorites. Um, Let's get into it. One of the fragrances is called Agata, and the other one is Se Envolve, which Se Envolve, we try to do in Spanish like it's wrapped up or it's involved. And Agata, uh, uh, I don't know. A kitty? It is pussy. All right, so let's open uh, the black pussy first because <laughs> there are some scents coming off of here already. Uh, but it's an intimate deodorizing cologne. Listen, I'm all about a real ball sprayer. Anita, we should absolutely collab if these don't suck and we make up our own ball sprayer. Anita's pussy and Cuba's balls. I think it could work. So here's the presentation once again. Let's open it up. There is a fragrance already coming out of here that's kind of interesting. Oh, okay, so Anita's deodorizing ball and pussy and asshole sprayer called Pussy. All right, let's smell Pussy. Let's get into it. Aw, love. It says love, love your asshole. It's only a 25 ml. I mean, I don't know how much you need to spray on your balls. It's after shower, so your balls should be clean. I don't know what kind of scent profile and how comfortable are women spraying their vages? Like, do you guys douse the meat curtains? Like, does it go right on the pearl? Like, how do we do this thing? I don't know. Let's smell this joint and see how Anita's black agata pussy smells. Uh, Cause I'm all about smelling random pussy. It smells very candy-ish, very, <laughs> A little childish, I'm not gonna lie, and that's just weird. It's very candy, floral, it's really candy. It's very candy. Like, are my nuts supposed to smell like a bag of wet Jolly Ranchers? Not that I'm opposed to it, but we're getting a lot of that. It smells like a bag of Halloween candy that's been left out in the rain, and all the colors just migrated together in a scent that makes your nuts smell like candy. Maybe she'll wanna lick the lollipop. I'm just getting an obscene amount of sweetness in this scent profile. And you know I wanna spray my nuts right now. I 100% I wanna spray my nuts right now. But let's get into the other one. It, all I'm getting from it, it's very linear. It's the best description I just told you. A wet bag of Halloween candy 
and all the all the juices are running together. Juices and pussy. <laughs> Very candyish. Not offensive, but also doesn't smell like spectacular. It's just candy. Like if your balls are gonna smell like candy and she's gonna go talk into the microphone, I don't see anything offensive about it. There might be questionable. Like especially if you try to do some side shit and you a sneaky motherfucker doing some dirtbag shit on the side and you spray this before you see the next chick and then you come home, she's definitely gonna be like, yo, you saw another random bitch because your ball smells like. That's, that could be problematic. So let's go for the pink pussy now. This is the Se Envolve, the get wrapped up or whatever. The packaging here, I would have thought that she would have gone a little bit more fancy being that she's like a global fucking superstar. But maybe this collaboration is just to keep it very cost effective, simple, and just something for the sack to see if it works out. Ooh, there's a little bit of moisture on this box. Pause, ugh, I hate the fucking word moist. Yeah, it's a little wet. Maybe it broke or spilled in here. Yeah, definitely something happened. Ooh, maybe it's a little nut in there. Anita, did you put your own sample in there? Cause I'll lick the shit out of this fucking. Oh yeah, it's, it's kind of erupted. I mean, the new windows in this video. Just give me a second, guys. I'm soaking up all the wetness on this pussy so I could smell it accordingly. All right, she's dry. Not the first time I've heard that. All right, here's the se envolve. I can tell you that already from all the wetness that's been around it. Oh Jesus, it's just dripping everywhere. All right. Oh, this one is much better. This is like a woody, vanillic, almost candle-esque cinnamon kind of. I don't know if you want these spices on your nuts, but the scent profile is definitely there. The consistency on it, on the skin. Let me spray this shit. I mean, I know it's supposed to go for my sack, but I want to feel how this consistency would be on the skin. It's definitely not regular fragrance. It smells like a cookie. You're spraying it on your cookie. Mmm. Kind of smells ginger snappish, vanilla, cinnamon. It has a slippery, oily consistency. Like if you're gonna hack it, this might work for you. I mean, it's very, it just doesn't, it's still slipping. Like on fragrance right now, I would have absolutely been dried up or soaked into the skin. This is still slipping. Bro, is this KY? That's the thing also, like if you spray this on your kitty and you're about to get some action, is this gonna irritate the guy in the canoe? You know what I'm saying? Okay, now it's drying off and now it's getting a little bit of a friction. It smells like a cookie slash candle. Ginger snap, vanilla, cinnamon. There's some sandalwood in here. Actually doesn't smell bad. This one smells, for me, way better than the Agata one. The Agata one is straight candy. I think this is lean more feminine. And the Selvolve, which is the pink box one, uh, smells a little bit more masculine, believe it or not. I mean, I gotta try it, right? Like, I gotta spray it on my- I'm the ball sprayer. Like, I gotta spray it on my balls. I can't show my on camera. I mean, ain't only fine, ain't much to see. Uh... Camera, there's no reflection, right? Cause that'd be insane. I'm charging motherfuckers extra. I mean, there's only one- I gotta find out. This is gonna be- Maybe I should put some sort of pixelization or something. I gotta see. I gotta see. Hey. I don't know why this is me. I, I spray my balls every day, but this one's making me nervous. I'm not doing anything inappropriate. I just kind of feel in the consistency. A little thick. Not, not the, the, the cream, the spray. Not, not, come on. Let's be mature here while I'm rubbing my balls. There's no burning. There's no itching. It's, it does feel thick, a little coatish. I think it'd be better to spray on like underwear. I'm just kidding. Come on, come on, stop, stop, stop. Let's be mature. It's an unusual consistency. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's an unusual consistency. Does it deodorize? I don't know. Like my balls don't smell right now. Well, they smell like this shit, but there's a shine to it. Let me tell you, bro. The hammer's got a shine on it right now. It looks like it just got polished with like chemical guys material. You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. I don't know. This is that. It's kind of gimmicky, but I, I'm gonna maybe after a fresh shower. I'm gonna try this one once again. The Agata one. I think it screams just pure femme because it's candy like, and if. Her box smell like that, I'm totally munching. Then I got munch. But this one definitely seems more on the masculine side, which is that candle cookie scent. I don't think this would offend any woman or anything. I, it's technically a ball spray. I just sprayed my balls on it. I mean, the hammer is shining though. What do you guys think? Is this shit fucking weird or what? I love Anita and she's very sexually open. And I can appreciate a woman who's out there in the limelight, multi-millionaire, talking about jumping on random pogo sticks. You know, if a dude says that, he's like a pimp motherfucker. But if a girl says that, she's a hoga, jump on whatever you want. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested in any of these pieces and trying them out, and particularly this one. And for my few lady ball sprayers, this isn't bad. It's just not masculine. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game. Well, not the biggest, but you know, smooches.
Mom's crib. Yeah. It's lost since you never get in. It's lost since you would think that you would. <laughs> 